Howdy people, how you doing? Now, you're looking at Sky X and for the same reason that NASA can not put stars and other heavenly luminaries in the background of their CGI images due to the reality of the millions upon millions of astronomers both professional and amateur worldwide would catch them up in their bullshit due to the position of the luminaries Sky X absolutely has to have their luminaries in order for people to buy their product. And millions and millions of this copy of Sky X is loaded on millions and millions and millions of computers as a study aid for the millions and millions and millions of astronomers both amateur and professional so it has to be very accurate information presented or the people would not buy nor would they use this program now what brought me to this was a video I done a year ago on Venus and Mercury visible in our sky an impossibility on the heliocentric model so some guy commented on that video saying that it was possible so I started ruffling through my thousands and thousands yes hours of sky footage and I found one that was real telling on September 30th right there starting at about 5:30 a.m. and is what I was wanting to do was verify what I was observing on this day and so I started my Sky X program and I set up my time and everything for the day to see the observable luminary in the sky which I believed to be Venus and Sky X verified to be Venus. Right here. Now, as I was checking this out, I started to, uh, do a little observing on because I have tracked the Sun and the moon for their entirety of their display in the sky I've observed the Sun over 16 hours and I have observed the moon over 13 hours and so I wanted to observe their path and this is what I found watch the pattern that the millions and millions and millions of astronomers worldwide be it 
China, Africa, North America, South America, Australia, Russia depend on this program. And look at the wandering stars that are named on this program, including the sun and the moon, and see what they're doing. Let me make this a little simpler and put Polaris on the screen for you and continue to watch as every luminary star and wandering luminary sun and moon follow the same observable orbit rotation around Polaris exactly what every astronomer professional or amateur out there observes because at the same time I'm looking at Mars and Venus right now somebody else knows that it's right here because of this program now if this program was not a very accurate depiction of reality nobody would buy it it wouldn't sell just like NASA would not be able to sell their stars in the sky because this program here actually will tell you what every one of them stars are and where they are, their coordinates and yes millions and millions have observed and used this Sky X as a companion a faithful companion to the illuminaries in the sky and their definite path of orbit now if the Sun we orbited the Sun it wouldn't be going around with all of the stars it would be going east to west east to west it wouldn't just maintain its distance away from Polaris and if the moon was orbiting us it too would not maintain its orbital path around Polaris now you can refute this all you want but there are millions and millions and millions of professional and amateur astronomers who use this program faithfully and there you have it folks the Sun and the moon orbit overhead locked in there see how that is it's it allows me to look at all of these luminaries and you go back to Polaris I don't need to see that it's running slow hopefully the recording audio is decent see that there's Polaris again what's this one here oh there's the name Acade what's this one Arcturus what's this one oh it's named that's Saturn and we have Pluto and Neptune and every one of them are observed around the plane to rotate around Polaris 
Thanks for tuning in, folks. That's all I got.